Do you want to start playing DirectX New Horizons but don't even know how to install it? Well, I've got you covered. Okay, so download Java. You'll want to head to this website, select Java 21 and click download. After downloading, go to its location, right click, extract all and extract. You can delete the old zip file. Next up, you'll need the Prism Launcher. Download the installer. More info, run anyway. And install it to your desired location. Note that you might need to install this for it to work. And you'll need to restart your PC. Then launch the Prism Launcher and complete the setup process. Select your language, then browse for Java. Go to the location you downloaded the Java to. Go to bin and select java.w.exe or just Java W. To play GTN8, you will need to allocate more RAM. The official wiki recommends from 5 to 7 gigabytes, but just to be safe, I'll allocate 8 gigabytes. Now choose your preferred icons and color theme. I'll just choose flat dark and click finish. Now that you're in Prism Launcher, you need to change a few settings. Go to settings, Java, and paste these JVM arguments. We'll be using the ZGC. Now we'll download the GTNH itself. Make sure you choose the latest version with Java 17 to 21. Then go back to Prism Launcher, click Add Instance, Import, Browse, and select the GT New Horizons file. Then click OK. It should extract it. Now click Launch, and you'll have to log into your Microsoft account. After following the login instructions, you should be able to play. Click Launch. You'll have to wait a bit. And there you have it, GregTech New Horizons and Java 21. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you all later.